Hi, yeah. Um, I've been I had been asked to do a video on um, being autistic and menopause, um, and I have to, I have avoided it a little bit because <laughs> um, being menopausal anyway for some people is going to be really really hard. Never mind being autistic at the same time. So, <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to kind of like think about how to broach that, really, because um, that is quite a big topic. So, I think I started the menopause about six years ago, and um, I didn't know that's what it was. And I can say, at the moment, I've had an easier ride than a lot of people. Um, so I'm not the best person to probably talk about it, but I can say a couple of things about it. Um, if your um, autism affects you um, in a way that is more um, hyper aware and sensitive to your body and things like that, it it will be a rougher ride and I think um anything that you can do to ease that or find any things that are um good ideas and um, I, I could try and look up some good ideas to help support um you through the menopause i mean i was always recommended hrt but i don't think that's an easy thing to get these days from what it sounds like i haven't myself yet um, but if you, yeah, for anybody listening and anybody caring for somebody or a partner, if she's menopause and she's autistic, she's going to need a lot of, uh, space, but also maybe a lot of whatever it is she needs, because, um, I know for me now, um, I think a more recent development with, for me with my, my menopause is that my, um, tolerance level has gone not totally but it, but it has been irritated and I'm um, not really like that normally so um, I did notice the other day and a couple of times now that um, that my my anxiety which I've been coping quite well with has been tested lately um, and it's and I'm kind of, I was trying to work out where it's coming from. Um, like really, like today, right now, I can feel that um, my hormones, whatever's happening with my body, is, there's a le level of, uh, I'd be more likely to snap at somebody um, today, say, than I would before. And I think that can affect women at different degrees during menopause. Um, and I know I've been lucky, um, but I also have a better appreciation now of women I've spoken to who are quite have been quite snappy. You can't actually really help it. Um, well, I haven't been. I'm surprised because I haven't, and I'm kind of like, oh my god, I'm not normally annoyed about that. Why am I annoyed about that? Um, so, so if you have a tendency to like meltdowns. And reactions I have found say in the last month at certain points I've suddenly it's so sort of, it's you know what melt you know what meltdowns are like they get quite powerful things and and it's difficult to um, not see red with them but I mine have been quite quick and don't think people around me have noticed so much but I haven't got a lot of pressures, you know, I live alone with a cat, so if I was living with other people, then um, I think it would be more noticeable. And my, um, so, for, so for me, this is my experience. Um, if anybody, so, so I know at the moment, I mean, it goes on for a few years, so um, this is a new development for me. My, one, my first development was um, my hair falling out, um, sweating, 
um, and all, all these kind of things. I mean, as you can imagine, for an autistic, this, which is already can be quite challenging, if you're sensory and you, you know, you've got um, OCD associated with it, if you've got other things going through the menopause, isn't going to be an easy ride. So. Um, anything that can help a person during that time and a bit more maybe understanding and leeway for people who are caring or around those people must understand it is um it is going to be very challenging i can't pretend and say it wouldn't be you know so if anybody has experiences that want to comment on theirs and how it's affected them you might be a better judge than i have although because I've had it easy so far, but um, yeah, the irritate that thing that's happened to me lately, where um, I'm usually quite good at talking to people. They probably didn't notice. So I'm quite hard on myself, but um, I was like, oh god, where'd that come from? God, I feel really like no patience at all. <laughs> and I'm quite good with patience, so it did surprise me. And I said, do I have a better appreciation of people who are going through it now? Um, because I said, well, okay, I can understand why they might be snappy then, because you, the, the, the can you don't really have much, yeah, they just don't want to bother with anything. You, you, you know, you got no tolerance, for, you know, for many things then. Um, sorry, I couldn't do a better video on it. Um, maybe when I'm going through more of it, I could do better, um, relate better to it. Um, right. Bye.